It's shining today. It's shining today. I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to do for a while, but let's be great, damn it. Cassius, out here, check this out. I hope everybody that's on my page is emotionally, mentally, and physically well. And if not, reach out to your boy. Plain and simple. Let's be great. LBG. April 8th, 3.05 a.m., Trooper Kent Hammond received word that an SUV was traveling on I-94 with no lights on. Kent watched the SUV drive past him slowly, and it's all whoop, whoop. The SUV didn't pull over, but continued traveling down the highway at 20 miles per hour. After several miles, the SUV accelerated to 80 miles per hour, crossed over to the left lane before stopping on the median. Not a good sign. The car's hatchback popped open, and Officer Kent ordered the driver to show his hands, which he did. Kent approached the driver's side of the vehicle where he saw driver Andre Wallace sitting shirtless, leaning back with his hands laced behind his head. Andre was dripping sweat and had a thousand yard stare. Good time. Ordered to exit the vehicle, Andre complied but began aggressively marching towards the officer. The officer then handcuffed him, kneeled on his neck for nine minutes. Just kidding, this is not a murder story. The officer did do what you should do, which was create some distance between himself and Andre and pulled out his taser. Andre made motions as if he was going to re-enter the SUV, but then began dancing like a robot. If you get out of your vehicle and start doing the robot, I'm hitting you with a taser every time. Have you seen the kill machines DARPA's putting out these days? I think people of all political backgrounds can agree I should never be a cop. After dancing, Andre flopped to the ground and began planking. Ah, those were the days. Andre then jumped back into his SUV, drove off before restarting the low-speed chase around 35 miles per hour. The state patrol set up spike strips and then rammed his car off the road, ending up in a T-bone situation. Officer Kent drew his gun, pointed it at Andre, and ordered him out of the vehicle and onto the ground. Andre complied. He stepped out of the SUV, got out of the ground, and began to perform push-ups. My man, <laughs> if this story did not involve driving, I would not be mad at you. No word on how many push-ups he was able to complete before multiple officers grabbed him and managed to handcuff him. Without murdering the man, they searched him and placed him in an officer's vehicle. Inside Andre's vehicle, they found a metal marijuana pipe. Really, dude? It's 2020 and you're still smoking out of mix-and-match plumbing? Come on. Anyways, they also found a dollar bill containing a small amount of white powder. The amount was too small to field test, but who the hell keeps anything in a folded-up dollar bill? I just feel like that's going to spill all in your pockets and then it's going to, you know, whatever. While search of the vehicle was taking place, Andre Wallace had unbuckled himself and kicked out the rear driver's side window. Andre, now you're just being a Karen. He got you on the highway, man. They had to ankle strap him before transporting him to Juneau County Jail. Couple of lessons here. One, kudos to the officer for being way more understanding than I would have been or anybody. Andre, if you're going to do things that involve the police tackling you, put on a shirt, buddy. Road rash hurts real bad. They have to take scrubbers and get the gravel out of your skin. You don't want that. Also, if you're going to post something like this on your Facebook, a small thank you note to the officer who did everything in his power to keep you alive might be appropriate. Please, everybody, keep a close watch on your friends and family. Addiction and mental disorders affect all people. I'm Tyler Sitar, still your most trusted news source. Have fun, be nice, hang together, or be hanged alone.